Tech Bravo coming at you from the shed quarters again. Hey, listen, uh, I know I've been doing a few updates to try to uh, just put a video up every once in a while, let you know that I am still here. And I realize I'm going to have to start putting out some real content again uh, instead of just doing these updates. But I'm going to do one more update because I'm gearing back up. Uh, I've got some more projects coming. I've got the Octopi, uh, which I've gone over in uh, very little detail yet, but i um, got that connected over here and that'll do some neat things. Uh, I got rid of my light object Z axis and I'm going to build this one because I just want to build another one. This one, uh, the, the parts, uh, except for the aluminum uh, and, and that kind of stuff that I can source locally is from uh, Randy Smith with Hulka Mods. Uh, you might have seen his Z table. He does some really neat camera stuff too. A lot of 3D printing stuff. So this is his design. Uh, I got the parts from him and I'm going to build this thing. I'm in the process right now. Um, so we're going to go over that in some future videos. I've had to take a little bit of a break, uh, do some facilities maintenance. Uh, I always like to have a uh, means of egress in case there is uh, a fire in here that my extinguisher won't handle if it passes the incipient stage. And my button, my exit button from access control on my shop went out and I couldn't get out. So I had to stop everything and work on that. So I found this little dude for like $9.99 uh, and it's uh, inductive capacitance and it turns green when you touch it. It's really cool. And, and also for doing the videos, I made a, a lit sign. Uh, so that'll, that'll light up. <clears throat> and I've just got it plugged up right now to a little USB port that's on this uh, ADSB receiver um, that's not being used. So I'm using that power. Um, so I'm working on a few things. After I do the bed, this is going to be a big deal. Uh, I've got a really cool idea for these uh, illuminated lamps, illumination lamps, whatever they are. I'm going to make one. It's going to be a little different. Uh, there's going to be some added electronics inside here, uh, some other things. I'm not going to tell you what it is what it is yet, so you'll want to uh, check back with me when I start working on this thing. It's going to be really cool. I've got my very first one up here, which it's hooked to my USB on my surround sound because that's the only thing I'd ever used the USB for. So... Uh, once it comes on. So that's my first attempt uh, at one. Actually second, I made one for Good Time Tommy a little while ago, but I got a really cool idea for these. So you're gonna wanna stick around for that. We're gonna be doing some more of the Octopi stuff. I'm gonna delve into that a little bit more. Um, but the next series that's gonna come along is gonna be the Z table. Uh, I'd intentionally, uh, originally intended to uh, put some stands on this, reinforce it uh, so that we have some structural rigidity underneath and I was going to mount everything uh, from the uh, pulleys down underneath the machine so that, so that the bed would almost go absolutely flush with the bottom of the machine. Structurally uh, and practically that's not going to not going to be the best solution. So I'm going to do it just the way he said uh, per his instructions. Uh, dimensionally and otherwise and just put it together like that and then i'm just going to make the quick release uh or or make a set of these in here so it'll fit right into place and not move around and i can take it out and put a rotary in or take it out and put my little uh lab jack in there or you know whatever i need if i have something that's going to require extra depth uh, or if it's an odd size or something like that so there's a lot more stuff coming uh, I'm going to get this thing built, and then we're going to move on to this, which I really think is going to be neat. And I have an acrylic project I'm going to do, too. It's a keychain, and it's going to be kind of neat, too. So stay tuned. I'll be uh, getting back with you with some real stuff instead of these silly updates uh, in the very near future. You guys have a good evening. From the Shed Quarters, Tech Bravo out.